In this video, we'll review how to prove if a quadrilateral is a square. Now, of the four, a rhombus, a rectangle, a parallelogram, and a square, this is probably the most difficult. The reason being is if we look at the definition, a square has a quadrilateral with four right angles and four congruent sides. The quadrilateral with four right angles is a rectangle, so we need to prove that it's a rectangle, but we also have to show that it has four congruent sides, which is the definition of a rhombus. So really, we're proving that to be a square, it has to be both a rectangle and a rhombus. That means I gotta go through all the work of proving it's a rectangle and all the separate work of proving that's a rhombus in order to show that it's really a square. Now to begin, let's find the slope triangles of all four segments of this quadrilateral. Once I do that, I can find the length of all four sides. So for instance, AB has a slope triangle where the legs are four and three. That means the legs of the right triangle are three and four, so three squared plus four squared equals AB squared by the Pythagorean theorem. Now remember, you will use Pythagorean theorem always to find the lengths of any diagonal segment. The only segments that can be counted on a grid are those that are horizontal or vertical. So if we continue this problem, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 9 plus 16 is 25, so AB squared is 25. In order to find what AB is, we square root both sides, and we find that AB is 5 units. Now that's the length of one of the segments. In order to show that all four segments are congruent, I'm going to have to do this three more times. There's the length of BC. There's the length of CD. And there's the length of AD. Now that's a lot of work. There are other ways to do it. You could do Pythagorean theorem once for any one of the sides and then show that the other um, sides are going to be congruent because really those slope triangles are all congruent to each other by SAS. I know it's SAS because you have each pair that has a side that's four lengths. Each pair has a length of three, and the right angle is in between those, so you're looking at side angle side. If the triangles are congruent by side angle side, and congruent triangles have congruent parts, then AB is congruent to BC, is congruent to CD, is congruent to AD, because they're all the hypotenuse of those congruent triangles, and therefore they're all five units long. So there are other ways to do it. Either prove by Pythagorean theorem that all four are equal, or do Pythagorean theorem once and show that the triangles are congruent by side angle side, and therefore by congruent triangles have congruent parts. All four pieces are matching. Either way, I've got to say that AB is congruent to BC, is congruent to CD, is congruent to AD, because they're all five units long. Now that's the um, property of a rhombus. I've met the definition of a rhombus. We have four congruent sides. But in order to show it's a square, I also have to show that it has four right angles. And I want you to think for a minute, how am I going to prove that I have a right angle? What's necessary to do that? Well, in order to show it's a right angle, you've got to show that the segments that make it are perpendicular. But how do I prove they're perpendicular? In order to show that two segments are perpendicular, you need to show that their slopes are opposite reciprocals. So to do this, I'll use those grid triangles with the slope triangles on them and I will look at the slopes of each segment. If I look at where two segments intersect, if those two segments have opposite reciprocal slopes, they're perpendicular. If they're perpendicular segments, then the angle they form is measured 90 degrees. And I need to do that for all four angles in order to show that it's a um, rectangle. So if we begin with segments AB and BC, those segments form angle B. The slope of AB is negative 3 fourths, while the slope of BC is 4 thirds. Because those slopes are opposite reciprocals, AB is perpendicular to BC. If those two segments are perpendicular, then the angle they form has a measure of 90 degrees. Segments AB and BC, if you look at the picture, form angle B. Therefore, the measure of angle B is 90 degrees. Now, that's one of the four right angles I need to show. I have three more to do. So if we turn our attention to the next angle, segments BC and CD form angle C. If the, slope of a, or if the slope of segment BC is 4 thirds, while the slope of CD is negative 3 fourths, those segments are perpendicular because their slopes are opposite reciprocals. BC is perpendicular to CD. If BC is perpendicular to CD, then the angle they form has a measure of 90 degrees. Those segments form angle C, so the measure of angle C is 90 degrees. Turning to angle D, angle D is made from segments CD and AD. Well, if CD has a slope of 4 thirds and the slope of AD is negative 3 fourths, 
CD is perpendicular to AD because they have opposite reciprocal slopes. If those segments are perpendicular, then the angle they form has a measure of 90 degrees. Measured angle D is then 90 degrees. We have one more angle to prove, and that's angle A. Angle A is formed by segments AD and BA. Well, the slope of DA has a slope of 4 thirds, and the slope of AB is negative 3 fourths. Again, they're opposite reciprocal slopes, which means segments DA and AB are perpendicular, which means the measure of angle A is also 90 degrees. Now, in order to prove that we have the square, I need to look at what I'm, my definition is. The square is the quadrilateral with the four right angles and the four congruent sides. In blue, we found that we have four congruent sides. In purple, I've shown that I have the four right angles. So if I go back to my definition, which is now in black up top, I can look at that definition and see how it's applied. I've got my four right angles, I've got my four congruent sides, therefore I can say ABCD is a square because it's the quadrilateral with the four congruent sides that I proved and the four right angles, which I've also proven. To summarize, if you want to prove something's a square, you need to show it has four congruent sides using Pythagorean theorem and four right angles using opposite reciprocal slopes to make perpendicular segments to make the right angles. Now, if you're confused about how to prove something's a rectangle or um, a rhombus, you might want to look at those videos also. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that it helps.